This logging industry is uh, not a play business. It's a heavy duty. A big log can weigh a lot. And uh, so the Timber King is the way to go because they're well built, well constructed, and they got enough steel under them to hold up a big log. My name is Bruce Baker. We're at Midway, British Columbia. Uh, my wife and I have a small logging and sawmilling company and we are the proud owners of this Timber King 2400. Uh, we uh, are part-time sawmillers. We uh, spend about half of our time ranching. We have a small cattle herd. The other portion of the time we are sawing wood, uh, wood that we've harvested ourselves. If I followed my accountant's advice, I wouldn't be raising cattle at all, but we'd be working full-time on the 2400. The sawmill, the big sawmill business, is in terrible shape. Uh, there's 35% unemployment in this area. They say that's worse than it was during the Great Depression. But that has opened up uh, openings for me with my Timber King, because people that used to go to the big mills and buy a lift of lumber cheaply uh, now come to people like myself. So uh, this sawmill has essentially been the thing that's been keeping us going during a very, very difficult time in the logging industry here. Uh, marketing for me is probably twofold. Uh, the local market where we sell a lot of side lumber and uh, smaller beams just seems to come to me. It walks through the door. People learn that we're producing good quality uh, lumber at a fair price and so I don't have to go looking for that market. The specialty market, uh, I am uh, approaching uh, several local timber framing companies. They will buy just about everything that I can produce that is cut to their exacting specification. I am the kind of guy that studies things carefully before I buy them, and I'm quite familiar with all the sawmills out there on the market. I did start with one manual mill, and then I moved up to another manual mill, but they just couldn't uh, do the work as quickly as I needed to do. Also, the labor was more than I could handle with the manual mills. So uh, I bought a uh, B20 from Timber King, which was a good mill. Um, and then the 2400 became available and it was an even better mill for me. So we moved up to the 2400. The chief competitor in this line is Woodmiser, but I never even considered Woodmiser because I did not like that cantilever head. Uh, our ability to sell lumber has to be based on very accurately cut lumber and I felt that the uh, wood miser just did not have that accuracy. I researched that very carefully and heard a lot of people complaining about that cantilever head uh, giving wavy boards. So to me, the Timber King's the answer. The Timber King is a very accurate sawmill uh, for a number of reasons. For one, it has a four-posted head on it, so you're not worried about one side of your blade sagging as the bearings were. Another thing is it's uh, heavily built, and so when you throw a 24-foot log that's three feet in diameter on it, you don't have to worry about the frame bending on it. And uh, all the adjustments are very easily adjusted so that you can keep your wood square and you can keep it straight, and that's what people like. Another thing that I like about uh, Timber King is the direct sales. The uh, uh, Timber King organization is not supporting a big dealer network, and so you definitely get much better value for your money. If you're going to sell lumber, you have to have a mill that you can efficiently saw lumber with, with very little labor, maybe just working by yourself. And so you need the hydraulics, you need uh, all the bells and whistles to keep you moving quickly sawing this lumber. Timber King definitely gives you a good value for your dollar. And once again, I get back to the uh, direct marketing. Uh, because they are not supporting an expensive dealer network, uh, they can sell a good product at a much more economical price than some other outfits. And uh, as far as the servicing, uh, yeah, just one uh, long distance call that's paid for by Timber King uh, pretty well answers any questions that you have. And uh, either parts from Timber King or parts locally are readily available.
A lot of people ask me how many board feet I can cut a day with this 2400. And I say to them, well, how many pounds of wood do you want to handle in the day? Because it really relates back to getting rid of the wood after you've cut it. The sawmill can cut it quite quickly. Uh, but a thousand board feet of green wood is going to weigh between three and four thousand pounds. So you have to have either the machinery or the labor to move that wood after you've cut it. Furthermore, do you want to cut a thousand board feet of two by fours worth two hundred dollars? Or do you want to cut a thousand board feet of specialty beams worth three thousand uh, dollars? So you really don't have to cut a lot of wood uh, if you're getting paid good money for it. I would say to anybody out there that's considering buying a sawmill that probably Timber King is as good a buy as you're going to get. And uh, it's an excellent quality machine and it uh, can do what you need to uh, make money in this business and or provide lumber for yourself.